Why is it so hard to upgrade or downgrade just one package? What is a package dependency? And just what would it look like to visualize all of Debian's package requirements in 3D space? Debian is a robust distro of GNU Linux based on the .deb package format. These packages are made of files that get extracted to the system and scripts that can be run if needed. .debs are a convenient and proven way to install the base OS, new applications, and required libraries. In just about every case, an application packaged as a .deb will have dependencies. A dependency is another package your package relies on. A good example is a graphical GTK3 application which needs libgtk to function. In many cases, your dependencies will also have dependencies, which could also have dependencies, and so on. The connections between these interdependent packages make up what's known as a dependency tree. This dependency tree is a very common image used to depict basic package relationships. Digging into the origin, it seems this image was created with apt r depends. It turns out apt r depends is a really handy way of outputting dot graph data, which can be piped into a few different programs to create cool looking graphs. Asking Spring Graph to graph my entire Debian system really didn't work, but I was able to create this cool looking guy with SFDP, which is part of the package graphs. SFDP put everything in a nice circle and can also output data in detailed dot graph format. So I used SFDP to create detailed graph data from the output of apt r depends run on the whole system. Next, I built a handy Blender script to render that dot graph data in 2D. To give it a third dimension, I calculated the height based on the number of other packages using it as a dependency. So the most dependent on packages ended up the highest on the Z axis. This makes libc6 the top tree in this cool visualization I'm calling a dependency forest, as this is a tight grouping of trees in 3D space. The links between packages are really just a list of the package names and the needed versions. Here's an example from the also utils package. By removing or changing any of these packages, you could break also utils as well as any other packages that depend on the changed package. I bet you could guess why messing with any of these higher depended on packages could cause a problem for the lower parts of the tree. Thanks for watching. Bye.